Free America. I am in Oceanside, California, basically just outside of San Diego, California. And on my left right here, I have Colton. And on my right, I have Kevin. Uh, Colton, what do you do for a living, bro? I'm a Marine. And Kevin? Work for the United States of America, USMC. Okay. Guys, some, you know, now you know, Kevin, you know what Jade Helm is, right? Yes, I do. Okay. And, and, and Colton, you don't know what Jade Helm is, correct? Not as much. Okay. All right, that, that's interesting because people are going to find that really interesting because you guys are both Marines. You're active Marines right now, right? How old are you, Kevin? 22. And Colton? Just turned 19. You're a young buck. <laughs> okay, all right. So, guys, now I'm going to ask you, Kevin, real fast. Point blank, I'm going to ask you right to your face, bro. Right. My listeners want to know if you're going to kick in their door and take their guns from them. No. Absolutely not? Nope. What are you going to do when, you're, when your commander tells you to break the law? I fight my brothers in arms at that point because that's an unconstitutional order. Absolutely, and that's and you know the Constitution, obviously, right? Yes, I do. You know that part of it at least, right? Right. Yes, sir. Yep. Now, now, uh, how do you feel, also, Colton? Tell me what you're going to do when your commander tells you that uh, you you got to turn in, uh, you got to take guns from Americans. At that point, I would give up what means most to me. I'd give in my uniform and tear the eagle of an anchor off of it. Mm -hmm. It's it's not worth it. Uh -huh. It's my family I'd be fighting against because that's the way I was raised, and there's no reason for it. And then, like you said, it's an unlawful order. Right. You, you do not have to follow. Now, have they been training you guys to uh, kick indoors? Uh, we do. Uh, I know not myself specifically, but just general Marine Corps. We have like our special forces teams. They train for urban combat, um, but that's more or less for overseas. Um, you know, in the Middle East, where is that what they're telling you? That's, that's what, you know, that's that's the, that's the image they keep you. up. That's um, the image that you keep up. But is that, right. is it, but do you but, believe that? I don't know. I, I go with it. I try not to get it too into it because I know, um, you know, if it gets to that point that I won't do it. You know, I mean, there's not a spot in my soul that I could find to bring myself to be able to do that. And, so. and uh, uh, Kevin, how about all, all you guys' buddies? What do you think they, they say? All my buddies and... I know his buddies also, all of us, we're on the same page. Uh -huh. um, me and my buddies actually have talked about this also, what we've done. It's an ongoing conversation. So. In, the, in, the, in the military or the yes, Marines? Yes, sir. It's an ongoing conversation, really? Yeah. Are you guys worried about this shit? I'm actually really worried about it. How come? You're an active Marine. How come you're worried? Because for the fact that my family is across the country and I'm not there to protect them in case anything does happen. But I know if something does happen while I'm out here, I'm fighting for the people out here too. Mm -hmm. Have they been giving you guys live ammo? Only for training purposes. Uh huh. Hey, were, were you guys any of the guys? Damn bikers, bunch of hoodlums. Were you guys any of the guys that were marching through the streets a couple weeks ago here in Ocean Town? No. no. <laughs> yeah, I see what I tell you. I knew he was a hoodlum. The cops are after him already. <laughs> Um, so, how could you make com how could you make America feel comfortable, guys? You know, you, you know, Kevin, that people are shitting bricks right now, right? You yes. know, you know, you know that America's actually. Uh, 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 this is going to be sad for me to say this to you guys. It really breaks my heart to say this to you guys. Do you know that America's afraid of you? I do, and it's it's not right. No. Do you know that America's afraid of you, bro? Yes, I do. Are you my bro? Yeah. You my bro? I am. I'd fight for your family. I'd fight to the death to, for your family, bros. Your moms, your dads, your sisters, while you're gone, they pull that shit. I'll fight for you. I'll protect your family. So I hope you guys will, obviously you guys will do the same thing, right? Of course, yeah. yeah. Right. What could you say to the American people, guys? I mean, look. You are you are literally going to be talking to the world here tomorrow. I'm going to have this up on on the air tomorrow on Free America. What could you say to America, Kevin? Because you know a little bit more about this. I'm going to ask you too, Colton. But what could you say to America to put everybody at ease, bro? Because they're scared. There's enough of us that will uphold our oaths and we'll fight. Um, if you guys don't know about the Oath Keepers. Look them up. Uh, the actual government's listing us as terrorists, members of the Oath Keepers, but we're not. We're just a bunch of military, police, 
fire department first responders that are actually going to uphold our oaths and that means of uh, fighting back against enemies foreign and domestic and right now it's looking it's going to be domestic really you believe that huh yes i do how about you colton you're a little bit younger you don't have as much knowledge of jade helm as, as, as kevin does but you know i told you america's afraid of you guys right now they think that you're literally going to kick in there. They're going to you're going to listen to Obama when he says, "Take guns." Can you say anything to America, Colton? Uh, honestly, all that I believe that needs to be said is that y'all should know the reason we joined the military is for our families, our family heritage, just how we grew up, how we were raised, and it's it's what we want to do. You know, we want to put our lives on the line for everybody else that we can, and to be told to turn around and put that against the people that we fight for, it just, it won't happen. Mm-hmm, yeah. Well, Jade Helm starts, uh, officially it starts on the 4th of July. Independence Day. Who the heck puts on an exercise like this on Independence Day? And then do you guys know what day it ends? September 11th. Is that kind of like freak with you just a little bit? Doesn't that kind of mess with you just a little bit? Yeah, a bit. All I know is that if they do met, if they do try anything, as what we fly, the Don't Tread on Me flag and the American flag is what we stand for. Mm -hmm. And if they really want to fight, it's exactly Don't Tread on Us. Mm -hmm. Because we'll, we'll side with the people. Every day.